Okay, okay, okay. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome back. I am healthy and great coming to you live from China. Yes, it's amazing. I know. I travel the world, even in the most dire of situations. Actually, I don't in the most dire of situations, but in any case, a man can dream. So, here we go. Today, we're coming back to financial awareness, and I'm going to explain my Fab Five experiment to some of you guys and ladies out there. Because some of you are like, yo, 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 bro, tell me about your Fab Five. You keep talking and talking. What is it? Here's what the Fab Five is. But first, I'll tell you why I'm in a mall. Why I'm in a mall? Am I in a mall? Because I need to film in a place that has foreground and background uh, ambience. Maybe. Maybe. Or maybe I'm in a mall because when walking through the mall one day, I had the idea, what if there was a place in the mall that actually helped us earn money instead of just spending money? What if there's a store we could go to to invest in instead of just let all our money just fly away? Imagine. All the money that you spend in the store, does it really give you a return? What's your return on that pair of Gucci shoes, Prada purse, Hermes bag? What's the return on that? It might have an emotional gratification type of return. And in some cases, you can even say a monetary return. Though for, the, for, the, for this video, we're just going to say the return is zero, all right, monetarily. Now, if you took that money instead and invested in dividend paying stocks, those would pay you out. Real life cash you can see. Real money every month or every quarter or every year, depending on your country and the legal laws within which they pay dividends. So here we go. So for me, here's the Fab Five experiment. I wanted to see if I could get five companies to pay me $10 a month consistently. Dividend income, okay? So here's what I did. I looked first for monthly paying stocks, okay? After finding them, I did a little vetting. I had to make, I had to check their EPS background, their uh, dividend paying history. I had to check their the history of their stock. I had, to, I did, I did, I did a light vetting to make sure it was a good investment for me. After doing that, I chose them. The ones I chose were ORC, O, Good, Gain, and Main. Okay, so from those five stocks, I had to find out how many shares in each company I needed to buy. So I simply took $10 and divided it by the dividend of that company or that stock and that's what told me the number of shares I needed to buy. After I did that, I used a one-step program to make a way to get the money to get those shares, right? Because the one-step program is like awesome when it comes to planning. After that, I did it. I bought all the shares I needed, all of them except for O. For O, I think I have to buy like 20, 24 something more shares. In any case, it's proving true, okay? All the companies I bought into are paying me consistently every month. All of them are paying me $10 a month except for O because I didn't finish that yet. Though when I get, when I finish buying all the stocks, that will too. So right now my GMPI, my gross monthly, my gross monthly portfolio income is... It's about $45 and 30 something cents a month. Just come into my bank, come into my brokerage account with from then which I can withdraw to my bank account. Awesome. So this is one of the reasons I chose dividend paying stocks because with the dividend paying plan, I can literally buy as many stocks as I need to get as much money as I want every month and boom, I'm done. I don't have to wait a bajillion years to hopefully pray that I'll get a good retirement. I can get that stuff now I can become financially free now so part of my financial freedom plan is via dividend investing and it's working how about this next time you come to the mall you want to buy spend a bunch of money go make it rain as the young people say take half that money and invest it in dividend paying stocks all right so I hope you enjoyed it it was good talking to you I've got things to do so do you happy investing later Oh, and always remember, financial awareness is key.